Hi, it's Joe with Crick Flicks. I'm going to try something totally different here with my lighting because it's still flickering. I see it and I don't like it. Um, so I turned my overhead lights off and I'm relying on a couple lights here. However, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very good. Um, what I'm working on is a gender reveal party and this was the image that was chosen for the little girl. And this is Divine Digital Diva. And this was the one for the little boy. Um, there are two centerpieces and a photo prop. Now what I did on the photo prop is I went into my Cricut cartridges and went to my, I think it was called Elegant. Um, oh my gosh, now I forgot the name of it. Um, let me see if I still have it up here. Accents, Accents Essentials, that's what it was. The cartridge for Accent Essentials is what I used to make the frame here. And I printed it. It's two feet by two feet. And what I did is I printed it, printed it in light gray and white chevron paper. And then when I, I went over the whole entire pattern with glitter, with silver glitter. On this side I put a little uh, uh, talk bubble here. And it's a girl. And on this side I put one for it's a boy. And what I'm going to do on those is for the boy side, I'm going to use the little one. This guy's like 10 inches tall. Let me make sure. Let me just verify. And, oh, 11 inches. And I'm going to put him on the side underneath the talk bubble for the boy. And I am going to pop dot these. I am, I think I am, I don't want those little tiny ones. I want some good size pop dots. So, should I break into my stash here? Yes, I should. Now, I'm going to have them hanging over a little bit. This is a photo prop, so I don't want them hanging over too much. Because I, I don't want to make this opening smaller. I think the opening, well, I don't know. I didn't measure the opening because it really doesn't matter. The opening, it is what it is. So... But, again, I did make this 24 by 24, then I cut it in half and printed out this side and printed out this side. And, guys, I cut it out by hand. I did not use my, um, my Cameo, and that was because I didn't want to put registration marks on it because I wanted to get it as big as I could. And if I put the registration marks on it, that eats up about, uh, eats up about an inch all the way around um, and I didn't want that and it wasn't that big a deal to ha cut it out by hand. Then I cut the back out which I did in white. I cut out on the silhouette because it didn't need registration marks but this for the pattern did. So I did it by hand. So that is not something I would want to do. You know people have asked me do they have to have these machines to make some of these pieces that I show, and no you don't. You can do a lot of the big pieces by hand. There's a ton of them if you have a printer that you can make by hand. You don't have to um, have the machine. I would never do little tiny things, but for those of you that don't want to invest in all this stuff, because you're just going to do one party and you just want to make some invitations for your child or something, you don't have to have the machine. You can cut them out by hand. Especially like Mickey, Minnie, Anything dizzy like that, very, very easy. Cut out by hand. Time consuming. I wouldn't do that for a living. But, but, when you don't want to go out and invest all the money and all this stuff you need, that would be the route to go. That would be my recommendation. Um, kind of a heads up, guys. <laughs> I'm a little jumping with my Disney. And so today my husband had taken a picture of me in my Disney room, the room I just did, and um, I have my, I've got my Disney shoes on, my Minnie Mouse, one's Minnie and one's Mickey tennis shoes, and my Minnie t-shirt, and um, I was teasing my husband, I said, ah, I'm practicing my wardrobe, what I'm going to wear when we go to Disney World, and so he took a picture of me in my Disney room, so I posted it on Facebook. And everybody's wishing me a safe, happy trip and on and on. But I don't think everybody realizes I'm not even going for five more months. That's how out of control I am. I don't even go until February. Let me see that. October, November, December. Yeah, five more months. 
but I have my little counter on my phone too. Um, so anyway, that's kind of that's kind of crazy me. But any of you well wishers about my trip, thank you very much. I will go back and reread them when I'm <laughs> actually getting ready to go. It's kind of embarrassing that I put all this up and I keep talking about we booked it. We booked our trip and everything. So now I um, I feel it's coming. It gets closer once you start making all your arrangements and finalizing them and paying paying all the buku bucks if you had a god expensive but love it don't care there we go now I don't know how well this is going to show on here because remember I don't have any lights on but here is the little photo square for the gender reveal and then I'm gonna put this aside and it's a big end. whoops okay I'm going to put these two together, and I have one little girl left over because I was thinking I needed double-sided when I started working on this, and after I got going on it, I said, ooh, I don't need two sides on a photo mat, and so um, I have an extra one, and I think, guys, I hope I've got two sticks in here because I don't want to have to get up again. Come on, stick. Don't tell me I'm not in there because I can feel it. Okay. Oh, I have another one I want to put together. Might as well do them all. Get it done. Get her done. I'm using all the wide now. I went out and restocked um, my glue, my popsicle sticks, and this time I routed for all big ones. I did not get the little ones. I'm using the big ones as much as I possibly can because I really think that images lay better on the wider sticks um, sometimes you get you can get see the sticks and I don't like that not a lot but you know I don't want to have to mess around with it and I found them relatively well pretty inexpensive on Amazon which numerous people had told me to go on Amazon to get them and I did However, I couldn't find a box of 1500, so I bought a bunch of 300s. Five of 300s. I still got 1500. But they were cheaper than me going and buying them at Michael's, unless I had a 50% off coupon, which, in order to stock up on five boxes, I have to make five trips back <laughs> to the store or take four of my kids with me because you can only use one coupon. They're fine. And I just glued my finger on there. Okay. And I took the puffs down a lot on, on this one because I was getting to the point that I just was not real pleased with the, so much white showing when I cut these out. I, I wasn't liking it. It was just way too much white. So I went back and cut them down further. And then I went, I had to cut her head off and do it in numerous steps. What is that noise I keep hearing? I had to do it numerous steps, and so I had to cut her head off and then just keep bringing it tighter and tighter and tighter around the, the Afro Pops here um, to get it so that I didn't have all that white showing. And I'm really pleased with the way it came out. That's one of the reasons that the other little girl with her little pigtails, um, it's a little bit more of a curl, a different... I don't know how... how I've seen people with them with their hair like that, and it just, as a matter of fact, I saw a commercial in like, cutest little boy I've ever seen with the hair and the little, their tight curls. Um, I like that one better only because it's easier to outline, not because I typically or necessarily like it better. It's just that it's so much easier to work with. This one's just not that easy to get cut down because they're, what I'm cutting off is a lot of the actual hairs but they're the you know I, I don't even know how to describe it so I might as well just keep my mouth shut now I'll go on too much and then I'll really make a mess of things because I don't know what I'm talking about but anyway I did bring them in and I'm a lot happier with them without so much white on them but it took numerous times that I had to go over it and bring it down further and further then I had to go in with an eraser and um, fine-tune it so that when I did print it out you could still see 
the little individual hairs because if you're not careful you lose the an actual view of the curl hair there and it just looks like like pom-poms or something it's not so you have to be very careful on how you do it and I finally got it to how I like it and then what I would do in the future is use and cut her head off when I needed her on other other little girls with the pom-pom well must have a different color bowl I don't know I, I, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it but I did like them better like that I think they came she came out really cute oh I said <laughs> right in front of my light that I'm using to film I may not even be able to use this film when it's all said and done because it's going to be too dark we will find out though and I was really hoping to get a uh, another scrapbook with, um, layout done today, but I was working on getting some orders done because Jenna, my daughter-in-law, is brother's getting married and she's busy with wedding things every weekend, and so she's not available to work much. And I need things to go out the door. Amy, I'm going to Amy's tomorrow. My daughter. And we are going to, she got her, her fiancé set up her office today, built it um, to match Jenna's and pretty much with mine too. Everybody's got a little bit different. And I'm going over to her house tomorrow. And I ordered her a printer and I got a couple machines out here uh, to get her all set up because she will start working now. She quit daycare no longer doing daycare at the insistence of her fiance he said no more done no more daycare with five kids of their own they don't need her with kids all day so um she's going to be working with me and jenna and she's also going to be doing the the reuse, re uh, refinishing repurposing furniture which now with their new house it's just awesome because the previous owners that lived in that house um had he was a handyman a, a, a guy that had a lot of hobbies with building and 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 i don't know if he refinished furniture or made it or i don't know what he did but he had a huge workshop area so they moved in with all of that already there and not only did they have that, they had a dog kennel in the back, which they already tore down. Amy and Doug tore it down because they didn't want a dog kennel out there. But they were dog owner or dog, I don't think they were breeders, they were owners, but they had a huge fenced in kennel area. And down in the basement, they had another area that had a dog tub and table, just like you would go to a groomer's. Um, if you were taking your pet to a groomer and they have the the tables that they groom the dogs on, and then they have the bath tub, the tubs that they wash them in, and everything. Their basement. They had one. They had one of those. And when they bought the house, Duck said the first thing he's going to do is tear that sink out. Well, they got a dog last week, a golden retriever. So now they've got the dog's bath that <laughs> has been needing to be used every day because the puppy just doesn't miss. Uh, well, anyway, she's, she's, he has had to have a bath. I think she said as of yesterday, it'd been three times and they'd only had him three days. So she's making good use of the puppy bath. And, um, so the house is, and then in, well, in her family room, she got it all set up for the kids and the family room it's downstairs, however, it's got a walk-out door that goes out to the backyard. That they've got the acre and a half lot, um, and she's she redid that family room area and had an area. This guy that built the house—it's a log home. The guy that built it—I can't even describe the things that he did that I would have never imagined in a, in, in a house. But he also built out of this area, coming into the garage, he made two doors that open that they could drive through. And I don't, and I think it was for his riding mower, if he wanted to come in and service it or anything. I don't really know why, but he had these two big doors that open that went into actual basement area. But um, had that 
like I said, the workroom down there, a laundry room that he built down there, a cedar walk-in closet he built, all these different rooms. They thought they were going to redo the basement because they have five kids, but they have so much room in the house they don't have to redo the basement. So she's putting it to use in the family room, that wall that she didn't know what to do with. Now he's built her work area, putting counters and cabinets today. So tomorrow she is going to start training. Well, she knows how to do anything. She's very, very crafty and handy. I like to say she's, she's her mother's daughter. She loves this sort of thing. So she's officially done with daycare and will now be working with Jenna and I. Okay, here's the last one that I have to do. That is a rubber ducky bath cup. And what I did is this was also a Cricut cartridge. Um, baby's first steps. And I added on extra duckies. I glittered. Um, instead of doing it in layers, I did it all in one and just colored. I colored this with um, glitter paper and then I went in and glittered it with silver. And then I used the Nouveau drops here. But the Nouveau drops, I'm going to tell you something that I didn't know. Those are specifically made for small drops. I did them on these bubbles and they're crack. They're cracking. That's not what it's meant for. For something like that, you need to use the... Um, Essential Accents Essentials by Ranger because this was definitely not made to be used in large quantities like that in, in large that big of a, a dot because it it cracked. Okay guys, I'm getting really annoyed here. Okay, now I'm going to need a straw on this one. Hold on just a second. I think I'll pause it and restart it. Okay guys. I needed a silver straw and didn't have a package of silver straws open. I tell ya, I've got this whole thing that's overflowing with straws because of course I'm always overzealous when I find something that I like that I buy them in every color and then half the time when I need it they don't, I don't have the color I need anyway. So that one I just didn't have it open. and. I'm going to do my, this is going to have a little bit of a longer peg on it because I have to glue up through the middle here and, it's, I, and make for the two legs that are on there. And you know what, I'm going to leave the No, I'm not going to push it because if I miss that glue, that was really dumb, guys. I have no idea how far down I should be. Got it. I had trouble gluing them together. And then I almost glued it on wrong. Seriously, I hope this is the last thing for tonight because I'm not doing so good here. All right, get some sticks here and I would mention it in a in the video and then I totally forgot what it was. Um mm, dog on it. See and sometimes I do not get a chance to answer sometimes when people ask me questions. Um my YouTube I don't get a chance to answer because I get so busy. Then I say, okay, I'm gonna answer it tonight when I film and then I forget. <laughs> forget the question. And I know guys there are all sorts of organized people out there watching that would say why don't I just write it down or why don't I simple 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 answers some to some real simple problems that I have. However those answers uh, just aren't simple in my world. 
I live in a in a world all of my own, and most pit people think logically and think, oh, how hard would it be to do whatever? Well, that's not how my brain works, or doesn't work, I guess I should say. Um, I can't simplify things. My husband always has the answer. You know, always has the answers with everything when I get overwhelmed. It's just, well, you know, you make these issues bigger than they really are. You know how easy it would be? Well, easy for him because that's the way he does things anyway. What did I just do? I just did something, guys. Besides tape all this stuff to my... I do love that, though, when, when my really simple husband gives me his answers and hot one night um, when the kids were still pretty young. They were in high school or younger, whatever. Um, maybe college age. No, I'd say high school. My daughter, it was Christmas Eve and I was waiting for everybody to go to bed. This was the big deal around here because even when my kids were grown, they had to go to bed so Santa could come. And um, it was like that all of their lives, and then everybody got up in the morning, but, but I had to stay up, sit, stay up to put everything up. This was way after, you know, Santa stopped coming to our house, but um, my, I'm waiting for my, my kids to go to bed, and, and it was getting pretty late, but my husband and my daughter were in this very intense conversation about how much better this world would be if more people were like them. Oh my God, every time I think of that, I crack up because they were, they were really serious. It was their thought process and just all, you know, they would never ever hurt a soul. They would never, you know, they would never do this. They would never, just all these things they would not do and what, a, what how much better our world would be to live in if everybody thought the way they did. And uh, it was pretty comical. I must admit, we laugh about it now, but I think my daughter still thinks, because my daughter wouldn't hurt a soul for anything. And I do wish there was more people like that, but we live in a real world and there aren't more people like that. But my husband and her are that way. They would never, they would just as soon be abused by or misused or mistreated or anything by somebody before they would ever mistreat somebody. It just so they get mistreated a lot. Or taken advantage of, I think you would call it. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I don't like the way I can see a ripple here. So what I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm gonna cut this white part out separate and pop dot it to give this so I can't see I can see the movement here and I don't want that. So that's what I'm going to do to rectify that, and I will take a picture when that's all done and show you how it looks with this part redone. Alrighty, um, that's it. I'll take some pictures of the little, the little girl and boy and call it a night. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.